Do I tease we back, man? Part two, my journey through the federal prison system, FBOP, what they call it. Yeah, I mean, if y'all don't know, I caught my little charge, did my little time. Now I'm trying to tell y'all the story so y'all don't make the same mistakes I did. Out here trying to be a hustler, baby. Yeah, you know I mean, and them bitches kick my dough in. If you don't know about that, go look at part one. Let's go. All right, y'all, back, back to the story. So. Where we left off, I walked through the doors through B door for the first time. I'm on a federal prison yard. I don't know shit about prison. And I'm a young dude. I'm green as fuck. Like I'm just I'm new to this world. I walk through the door. It's a fucking party. It's a fucking party. Smoking. Everything. Love and hip hop on. I ain't seen the TV in the fucking six months. So I'm like, all of a sudden everybody stopped. And they look at me, instantly quiet. So now I'm like, a random yo, a random dude. I couldn't tell you what he looked like at all. He just walked, walked up to me and said, where you from? I said, I'm from West Baltimore. Just like that, I'm from West Baltimore, nigga. Fuck, nigga. I'm from West Baltimore, nigga. Yo backed up and said, oh, Baltimore niggas over there. He pointed to the corner and the right when I say, yo, it was I had it been like eight niggas just staring at me like. So I look at them, walk up. They like, yo, where you from? I'm like, I'm from over west. They like, you from Baltimore? Where the hell over west? I start spitting my hood. They like, oh, right, yeah, I got people's over. All right, cool. What the fuck to do? They like, all right, you sell down here. They take me all the way to the back. There's a dude in there. He from Baltimore because when you with a Baltimore car, I get to all that. So he from Baltimore, he get in the cell. I mean, he already in the cell, I'm walking in the cell. He straight get up, like, yo, what's up? I'm like, what's up, yo, church and all that. He tell me his name, he walk out. That's all, he get some stuff and he walk out. The hell up, when I say like 20 niggas come to my cell while I'm taking my stuff out of my bag, the little shit that the prison give you, the soap and all that. Hell of niggas come to my cell. Like, yo, what's your name is again, yo? Where your paperwork, bro? I'm like, huh, nigga, snatch my paperwork. Yo, don't leave this cell till we come get you. If you leave out this cell, yo, we sending you back, yo, and we sending you on a stretcher, my nigga. We don't know you. We ready. Read your paperwork. Make sure you good. I'm like, all right, bet. That, that happened everywhere you go. That's cool. I'm like, all right, bet. They slam my shell. That bitch locked. I say, yo, now I'm just sitting in the cell. Shit took like two hours. They come back, yo. When they came back to my cell, I, my cell just popped open. I don't know how they got the door open. It just popped open. Boom. Once the cell popped open, hella, all them niggas that was right there came back with hella bags of shit. Yo. Yo. It was so much food. Fucking drugs, cigarettes. It was fucking MP3 players, radios, fans, a TV, boots, clothes. Jackets, hoodies, all this shit I ever could need, yo, in prison, my nigga. All of them just giving me bags, giving me a five and a hug. Welcome, bro. This and that, this and that, this yourself, this and that. So they're like, yo, I'm like, I'm, I'm now I'm starting to relax because I'm like, oh, all right, it's love. You feel me? Like, all right, bet. They're like, yo, where you say you from again, yo? I'm like, yeah, I'm from 2700. He's like, yo, hey, oh, hey, yo, is a nigga say you from your block? I'm like, like, from my block, mind you, I'm thinking of everybody who locked up around my way. I'm like, ain't nobody in the feds. Who the fuck is they talking about? So all of a sudden, he's like, who from my block? I'm like, that voice sounds familiar. A motherfucking come hit the corner. And my motherfucking uncle Mike. I'm like, what the fuck, my fucking uncle? Mind you, he the fucking shot caller at the prison. Now, a shot caller is the person that pretty much did the most time and he an older dude, he carried a car. A car is pretty much your your clique, your gang. They don't call it gangs, they call it car. If you from Baltimore, you're in a Baltimore car. You from North Carolina, you're in a North Carolina car. If you're a blood, you're in a blood car, a crip, crip car, and so on. So that's who you be with when the shit, when the riots hit, that's who you ride with. That's who you hang with on the daily. That's who you do business with. If you black, you can't fuck with white people. The white people don't fuck with you if you're not white. So it's like rules to that shit. So 
My uncle come around the cut. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? This where you been at? I swear I didn't know my uncle was in the feds. He like, what's up, nephew? This and that, this and that. So we chop it up. He makes sure I got everything I needed plus more. So yo, like, yo, I, I mind you, all this shit is so much a drilling rushing. I'm like, yo, I got to chill out. I, I'm like, yo, I'm going to chill, take a nap and all that. I'm trying to take a nap. My uncle bang on myself. Yo, get up 5 a.m., yo, we going running. I'm like, man, fuck no. Mind you, I'm lazy straight off the street. I am not about to be working on shit my first day. Fuck no. Yo, like, man, look, I need you to get up. I'm like, all right, bet. Five o'clock come. He up already stretching and shit. I put those some shorts and shit on. We running. So we start walking the trail around the little uh, soccer field and all that. So he stopped, start tying his shoe. Why he tying his shoe? Mind you, while we walking, he explained in the feds to me. He like, I bet it run by cars. But like I explained, he like a shot callers. Every car got a shot caller, which is the leader. Like I said, he necessarily not the toughest dude, but he the smartest. He did the most time. He know what's going on. And the CEOs and the officers, they talk to them before shit kick on. So shit don't happen. So he let me know how that shit go. And then he also made me like pretty much had to make a decision because he know that I'm Pyro, but I'm from Baltimore. So he like, look, nephew, you can't be hanging with the bloods and be with us because when they kick off, you got to know who you're riding for. That shit don't work like that. You got to choose one. But if you choose that side, you got to stay there. Don't come to us when you need help. You feel me? I'm your family. I'm going to ride for you. But other niggas not going to do it because you're not in that car. So I'm like, man, fuck. Mind you, the blood car got mixed in all type of cities. I'm like, man, hell no. So I'm like, all right, bet I'm a Baltimore nigga. So i with the Baltimore club, car. So... He explaining all that shit. Uh, don't talk to the white people. They not gonna talk to you. They won't sell you nothing. They won't help you if you on fire. I'm like, damn, they, that's just how they is. They big on racing there. So every race hang with their own. He showed me the yard, where we hang at, where we don't supposed to go at, what stuff we work out with. The shit, the hand, our handball, our basketball court, like everything is segregated, it's crazy. He let me know at lunch, at dinner, we sit on this side. The Jamaicans got this side, the Mexicans this side. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? So we just walking. So all of a sudden, my uncle stopped, act like he tying his shoe. But like, he like, he doing like this. Like this. Oh, shit. He doing like this and grabbing the fucking grass. The whole grass lift up. The whole grass lift up. It was like duct tape a ball of duct tape i'm thinking it's a ball of duct tape i don't know what's in the shit i just see a bundle yo take it stuff it under his nuts he like all right come on let's go we start to walk the track and then we went straight in the building he like breakfast in a little bit so i go on my cell get ready for breakfast and all that shit yo come knock on the door i look up yo throw me the cell phone he like yeah huh that's what i had grabbed earlier for you yo it was a fucking iphone for us he like, but you got to pay for it, though. I got it for you, but you got to pay back all the money for it. So I'm like, all right, bet. How much is it? Yo, say like $3,000. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, hold on, this shit. I, mind you, it's like an iPhone 10 and all that shit out. I'm like, yo, that's a fucking the oldest phone possible. How is this three? He like, man, it's, you had to pay for the uh, phone. The phone was like 500 You got to pay the person that to get the phone and bring it to the CO. You gotta pay the CO, and then you gotta pay a motherfucker to get it in the jail. Like, once it's in the jail, you gotta pay a motherfucker to get it out. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Then you gotta pay for the minutes and getting it on. I'm like, all right, bet. Get the money. I giving them to him in spurts and shit. He ain't tripping, that's my uncle. So, that, I, I ain't gonna lie, that was the best though, cause I got to FaceTime my daughter, shit like that, so I was good. I had the phone, I was collecting funds, I was taking care of business. Oh my God, I was watching porn to my eyes bleed. bleed.